Hey guys, Andre Adams here with my beautiful wife, Rebecca. You guys probably know me. I've been around with Titan Medical Center for quite a while now. IFBB Pro, also an NASM Master Trainer and Prep Coach. And we're here this weekend, hanging out with the team, trying out some of the different products. And we actually just finished an amazing workout here. But today, we're gonna share with you guys a little bit about our experience with this wonderful brand. And also, Rebecca's first time yeah. trying Hercules Potion. Hercules Potion. So the only other time I think you've tried it, we did a really intense leg day a few weeks back with our team yeah. back home. But today was the first time you've actually experienced it for the upper body. So we did uh, Shoulders. bilateral, right? The mm -hmm. deltoids. And what did you think? I mean, did you notice an improvement in your pump and your anti-fatigue? Yes. And I, I have to say, I had this misconception that it was only for men to right. take. Um, but I loved how I immediately felt the pump in my shoulders yep. and it made me incredibly vascular and it's always been a struggle of mine to build Hold my we, shoulders. We, we, gotta, we gotta show that real quick. I mean, her pump was insane today, so yeah. she was loving it. She'll definitely be trying it again. We're <laughs> yeah. gonna try that next. Yeah, I wanna try my triceps and then I'm gonna do my rear delts. Rear delts, so definitely it's gonna work systemic. But also, anywhere intramuscular you choose to inject it, you're still going to get that site-specific benefit also. So definitely excited to try that. Um, let's talk about another thing that you like. I know it's one of my favorites for immune support, a lot of detoxification, Nectar of God. So I know initially I think I let you try mine, and yes. then you got your own. Yes. So let's talk about that a little and, bit. And I get upset when you steal mine. <laughs> you have to buy yeah, mine. I definitely have to steal her sometimes. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. so I work in a school setting where there's lots of germs working with younger kids and I have not been sick one time this year. Yeah, so definitely helping boost that immune yes. system up. Um, also, I think just with your general recovery and uh, a lot of antioxidants mm -hmm. in there, right? Still get some arginine in there. Uh, so definitely big improvements all the way around. So try immunity, that one's a good blend of vitamin C. You get your zinc, your glutathione. Again, a lot of antioxidants. Mm -hmm and really just gonna help support your immune system, especially when you work in a school yes. you're like me, right? You do a lot of uh, personal training, things like that in a public gym setting. Uh, let's talk about some of the fat burning stuff too. So right now I'm actually in a bulking phase. So I'm using more of the MK677, um, you know, Hercules potion. But for you, she's mm -hmm. actually getting shredded, which you guys can see. So she's tried <laughs> AOD9604 yes. and the ECA stack's kind of your go-to. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Talk about maybe some of the benefits there with your energy focus, fat burning, you know, what kind of things have uh, really helped you so far? Yeah, the fat burning is legit, especially when I'm injecting it into my my midsection. Yep, sub -Q, I, right. And I've noticed definitely in terms of my abs, mm -hmm. some fat loss there, and especially in, in my, my upper body. I mean, it works yeah. everywhere, but just leaning, out, right? just leaning out in general, and it's mm -hmm. gives me a little bit more motivation to work out even harder at the gym. So maybe tell them, you know, what time of day do you normally take it? Um, you know, when you wake up, before mm -hmm. you work out, what's your favorite time of day to take any of those therapies? I like to take it first thing in the morning. I feel like I get a little energy boost before I go to work. And you do your fasted cardio too. I do. I right. do fasted cardio every morning. So that kind of helps wake me up a little bit more and gets me ready for the day. Yep. And I'll tell you, right? We live together. This is my wife. She struggles to wake up early. And no. taking those things, I'm telling you, she's been so <laughs> consistent. I'm so proud of her. It's uh -huh. nuts. I actually struggle. She gets up before I do now. So yes, I do. Um, that's definitely been helping support that. Mm -hmm. In fact, when we got here in Tampa a couple days ago, what's the first thing, the first compliment we had, right? We, we called up the Uber driver and, uh, you know, it was a, a lady. She pulled up and yeah. what's the first thing she said to you? She was like, ooh, girl, I wish I had your body. I was yes. Like, if that on. doesn't put a smile on your face, 
So that was like all the, you know, vindication she needed, right? Yeah. Um, really set the tone for the week. But again, it's all about looking good, feeling good. And all these different therapies are helping us achieve those goals. So tell us a little bit about your experience so far with Titan as a brand, family. You got a chance to work out and meet a lot of the team members this weekend. What's it been like for you so far? It has been honestly an amazing experience. I felt like one of the family immediately, to be honest. The service is wonderful. I kind of almost feel like when I'm calling, it's like I'm talking to a friend. As mm -hmm. Silly as that sounds, and I get my products incredibly yep. quickly, which is so nice. So I'm not the best planner. <laughs> so yep. I, when I need it, it's a yep. couple days and I got it. And they always do a great job of reaching back out to me and follow up. a lot of follow up, mm -hmm. whether that's a phone call or a text or an email, which I really do appreciate because sometimes I forget about to take care of myself. Yep. So it's nice to have somebody else checking up on me. Yeah, and definitely for me, obviously starting out five or six years ago mm -hmm. as a customer and a fan of Titan, and then, you know, John and Cherise taking me in, like family is one of, one of their own. It's been amazing. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, being able to bring my wife in and also get her involved in it, it's been just an incredible experience. So um, excellent service and support. Yes. Again, everyone here treats each other like family. Um, yes, I would actually would love to see more women using it. So I would yes. recommend it to all my female friends, whether that's... Mm -hmm. They want to gain muscle. They want to have more energy. Right. They need, you know, to sleep better. Right, lifestyle. You Life, might be a yep. competitor or an athlete. Right. Yeah. It doesn't right. matter if you're competing or you just yep. want to, you know, have a better body composition and get healthier. And feel good. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, we look at all of the athletes that we coach back home or remote. Right. We actually coach athletes all around the world right now, and everybody um, that's available or has access to Titan, we always recommend getting your blood work and yes. your labs done regularly, whether you're a competitor or not, just to check on general health. Look mm -hmm. for those key health indicators and then any gaps or opportunities to improve your performance. So definitely recommend it to anyone out there that's looking to feel better and look better. So today I'm showing you guys, you know, the other side of having a healthy lifestyle, not only for you, but for your family, right? And it's really important to start teaching your kids young to get into a healthy lifestyle. I think activity is very, very important. And my son plays a lot of different sports. I want to give him every opportunity to be his best. So I search out the best in the businesses, whether it's activity as far as lifting wise or sports training or whatever it is i searched them out because i want to give him these opportunities to get that knowledge right so at that point we're going to go in here and kind of see what training peter is doing right now to get him to the next level we're going to go see him start training with yo murphy yo murphy is an ex-buccaneer tampa bay buccaneer he's trained a lot of different athletes from baseball to basketball to football he's done it all He's got a beautiful new facility we're going to walk into. So let's go check it out. We'll see what little Pete is doing. And he's not little Pete anymore. He's getting really tall. So I'm going to start calling him Big Pete after he uh, starts being taller than me. So let's go see what's going on inside.
So you kind of see what was going on inside. You seen kind of what Peter was going through through his training. You know, it's his first week that he's trained with Yo. So Yo is really trying to get his structure proper and everything. So you have the foundation, you're building up from there. But just remember, activity, nutrition, sleep, and when you get older, even your Titan therapies are gonna be game changers for you and help you all throughout your life. So think about your kids, think about your family, and do the best you possibly can for them. Just a little from me to you. Later, guys. about health some people they focus on short-term health goals you should be focused on long-term health goals the reason is is because you just like I want to be on this planet as long as we possibly can looking good feeling good and performing your very best every day right so that entails you to have healthy lifestyle habits eating correctly sleeping having good activity right these are all things that are going to contribute to your long-term health goals. Now it's okay to set goals for aesthetics and all that over time, but a lot of people are wrapped up in instant gratification. They want to hit a short-term health goal as fast as they possibly can, and they're going to do whatever it takes, right? And I give my example of the younger generation. A lot of younger guys and girls out there, they see things and they want to get that look or that build as fast as possible but they're not really looking at their long-term health goals because if they're willing to do whatever it takes, they might be taking shortcuts or things that they shouldn't be taking that could be damaging their vital organs, let's say liver or kidneys. And if you damage your kidneys, you're not gonna die today, you're not gonna die tomorrow, maybe not next week or next month, but it could possibly lower your lifespan. And you don't want that, right? Because as we age, priorities change, okay? When I was 20 years old, my priorities were a lot different now as a 40 year old, okay? I got a family, I got my business, I wanna be around to see, hopefully see my grandkids and the whole nine. When I was 20 years old, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking, listen, let me get jacked, let me have fun, let me go out and drink, have a great time. And I really wasn't thinking about any of my long-term health goals, right? That's just, it's a part of being young. God bless you guys. But like I said, as you get older, those health goals and those long-term health goals really play a priority in your life because every day you want to wake up feeling good, right? And if you're going out and partying all night or using things you shouldn't, it's probably not going to make you feel good the next day. So at this turn in your life, you should really look at long health term goals. Set those long term goals for yourself inside health so making sure all your vital organs your cholesterol blood pressure all these things are in line making sure that you're getting a good nutrition plan good foods don't eat garbage you don't need it try to set that time aside so you can sleep we all know listen a lot of people don't get sleep these days you want to at least get seven to eight hours of sleep every night 
so you can wake up recharged and ready to go and your body can recover properly, okay? So there's just some of the things you need to focus on. Don't look at the short-term goal. Try to get somewhere as fast as possible and do whatever it takes just to get that look. Look at the long-term goal. Look at the big picture. Don't focus in on just one little detail of that picture, okay? And I promise you, if you do these things that I'm talking about and really, really prioritize long-term health goals, you will live a long, healthy, and prosperous life all the way around. So if you're looking to really improve your long-term health goals, Titan Medical Center can help you in all these different ways, shapes, and forms. And as we get older, we age, guys, it's okay to have a little bit of help. Just making sure that you're going through the proper channels, being supervised, and getting the proper therapies to help you live a long, healthy life. If you're looking to improve your quality of life, day in and day out, contact us today. Call or text 727-389-3220 and check out the website, guys, TitanMedicalCenter.com. What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Another one. That's right. And another one, another one. And another, 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 another. <laughs> <laughs> Every week, me and my beautiful wife here, Sharice, are breaking it down for you guys, giving you guys some great information, some good tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully help you in your relationship. And if you're not in a relationship now, hopefully your future relationship. And this goes from everything from the beginners in the relationship all the way to the seasoned players that have been in the relationship for a long, long time. Um, and me and Sharice have been, I think, like 14 years now for ourselves. So It's really 28 because we've been together every day. <laughs> we've Double. learned a lot from each other uh, in our relationship and we've learned a lot from our different friends and counterparts out there in their relationships too. So I want to help people out out there because I think relationships are harder than ever nowadays. And what people expect or what people don't expect and, and uh, what people are looking for and not looking for out Swiping there. Swiping left and right and bumbling. Yeah, and all the different avenues that people can get relationships these days. It's, it's really, crazy. really hard. I'd be so scared. Um, you never had relationships before get tested as much as they possibly do nowadays. Truth. Whether it be social media and DMs and pictures up for lights or whatever it may be <laughs> out there, right? Or OnlyFans, you know? Oh boy. <laughs> We've got all these different things out there that affect relationships on a daily basis. So, we want to bring some positivity back to this thing and really focus on some of the things that long-lasting couples do to make their relationships successful, okay? And this is something that me and Sharice do. So, it's the same, like, savoring your partner and the experiences that you have and not taking each other for granted, Right. okay? I think it hits right in the head for all these different things that are out there. You know, people really don't savor their partner. What does savor mean? That means like you're putting your partner first. Like that is your ultimate thing right there, right? Um, and, and that's how it should be. Your partner should be obviously priority number one, along with your kids or whatever it is, mm -hmm. um, and, and your other family members. But your, your wife, your partner, hey, that's your partner, and that's number one to you, right? So at that point, you want to really make sure that you guys are acting in that fashion and acting it together. Right. Not just one partner savoring the relationship or putting the partner first, 
but both of you guys. Yeah. Because it really is a joint effort, uh, and it takes two to tango in a relationship in all ways, shapes, and forms. You could dance by yourself. It's never fun. Yeah, but you're not having a partner unless they're imaginary. <laughs> you don't want an imaginary partner out like, hey, and you see the Betsy there. Oh, Betsy's so nice. Casper, yeah, he's like, so cute. Oh, yeah, Betsy's beautiful blonde hair. Like, it's not blonde. She's a brunette. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, uh, but you know, hey, listen, that's what the risk you take when you have an imaginary partner out there. But you know, when people that don't have imaginary par- partners out there, <laughs> geez, old beats, um, you know, you want to make sure, make sure that you guys are both on the same page with that, right? And then the next thing, your experiences, right? Having the experiences together and going over these experiences together. And with your relationship just starting from dating and going on to a serious relationship, engagement, marriage, kids, and the whole nine, you're going to create so many different memories of experiences that you've had together. Mm-hmm. And some of those experiences can be good. I was going to say, some will be good and some will be bad. And some are going to be bad. But, but they make you who you are today. And they make the relationship what it is. So a lot of good things that happen usually make the relationship a lot better. Mm-hmm. And negative things that happen in a relationship, those things can make things worse for a short time or a long period of time. But if you get over them and you guys get past those different things, It'll make you stronger. It can make the relationship stronger. Because whatever Absolutely. doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yep. What that's, they say anyway. Th- this is a true statement. I really believe in that that statement, right? Because you know you gain so much knowledge, whether it's a good situation, bad situation, or neutral. You really do gain knowledge from all all different scenarios. So at that point, you want to make sure you're going through these experiences with your partner from time to time too, as well. You guys can talk about it in bed, at the you know the coffee table, um, dinner table, whatever it is, or even just during the day. You say, "Remember that time like this?" And there's certain things that might draw up those memories too. Right. You might be driving past this, like the place you first got your first date at, right, with them, and, and you're like, "Oh, remember the the time where." You know, we first met and we went to and you're like, ha, ha, this, ha. this restaurant and we ate this or you said something funny to the waiter and you got to start giggling about it, laughing about it. You're like, oh my God, it's so funny. Um, or it could be bad things that happened in the past that were the ultimate downfall, dredged things. And you guys got over these things. You're like, remember this, honey? And, and it might bring up that memory. It might not be so good, but you do remember, hey, listen, we've got past this memory now. We've got past these things. And we're in a better place. I remember I stared at you while you were sleeping and really thought some things over. Oh, no. I'm kidding. Ugh. I've never done that to John. Oh, no. <laughs> I love John. I just told him, I was like, listen, it's either you're going to be with me or you're going to be in the backyard 10 feet under, and I'm going to have five friends help me dig that hole yeah. and drag you down there. Yeah. So, so if anything happens to me, you got the testimony right here. There you go. He's in the backyard. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck finding him. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! Oh god! It's unconditional oh, love. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> I know we're crazy. But you know, I mean, these different experiences and these different memories really make you your you and your relationship, and it, it, it it's awesome because you reflect back on these different things, and it's really what long relationship or people that are in long relationships really do look back at. You might look back at like photo albums. That was another one when we were younger. Remember that? Yeah, a hundred percent. And then sometimes you'll be like. Sometimes it'll be something cool and you're like, man, we need to do something like that again. Yeah. You know, or it'll be something where you want to do something like that again. And oh, we and, had that really cool vacation. I can't wait to I go can't, back. I can't. I want to go there going. again. Or, you know, it's just, yeah. it's, you'll be able to, you know, reminisce or guys, even sometimes like the silent moments that you can really save your too, right? Yeah. Whether it's in a movie theater or like even just having like a nice quiet dinner or something and you just have music in the background or something, even in that one moment. And this is, I think this really only happens when you're like in true love, right? Mm-hmm. You hit the true love point because I feel feel like any other relationship me personally anyway that I've ever been in the true love point I wasn't like feeling any sort of emotions with just sitting there them staring at me I'm like uh, why are you staring at me like what is your problem like did you have something to talk about like this is super boring but like literally you know John get me and John could literally be there at having a moment where it's just we wouldn't even say nothing and we can look at each other and it's just one of those moments you know like yeah. So you just, you want to cherish those moments and recognize those moments and, you know, make sure your partner feels appreciated and yeah. feels loved yeah. and they know that you care for them and you, and you 
put forth the effort to show them that they are number one. Yeah. You know, whether it, it could be anything, the smallest things, like, you know, making sure he eats lunch every day. That's important, you know, because we get busy. But, you know, it's the little things to make sure that he knows, like, hey, listen, I'm thinking of you. Like, I want you to eat. Make sure you do this. Make sure you do that. Take care of yourself. He does the same thing to me. Hey, go do this. Go do that. Don't forget to do this. You're reminding each other to take care of each other because, listen, I need him to stay around, okay? I'm like, the life insurance policy is irrelevant to me because you're much more valuable alive than dead, okay? <laughs> This is a true statement. I'm not lying. I'm always very straightforward on these things, right? I've told I'm him before. More valuable alive than dead, thank please, God. Please, 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 <laughs> like just please. I need you to. I need you to take care of yourself. So you know, just it's a, the little things in life. Yeah, appreciation is key, and appreciation all appreciating all the little things out there. Like she said, like you know, like telling me to eat something or whatever it may be, like just the little things. Not just showing the appreciation at big occasions mm -hmm. or situations in your life or events. Yeah, it doesn't have to be like on an anniversary or something like yeah. that. Like, let me go buy something. It's never really even about money. It's about uh, action. Yeah, yeah. It, it really is. It's, it's not about money at that point. And showing appreciation has nothing to do with money. It really does have to do with you showing the emotion. Um, you create the action to show your partner that they're loved. Um, and that you want to be with them for a long period of time, right? For the rest of your life, hopefully. So that's, uh, that's really where it's at with the appreciation. You just want to make sure that, like I said, you're appreciating your partner. You're not taking them for granted in any way, shape, or form because that's a one big one out there. You know, because somebody is doing something for you every day. You don't need to think about it. And then you just expect it. Then you expect it. Yeah. Right? Instead of being appreciative of if, uh, instead of being appreciative of it, you just expect it. Yep. And then it doesn't become special anymore. Yeah. So don't do that. It makes okay, them feel do bad it. if you do that. Yeah. All right. Make, make sure you say thank you. I really appreciate this. Thank go out you. Your way. Go a long way. Do something. Write a little letter. Give them a little rose. Do something to show them the appreciation for what they do to you on a daily basis that you might not even been thinking about because they do it so often for you, mm -hmm. right? So these are just some of the tips and tricks that have made our relationship successful and a couple other ones that we know out there. So at that point, if you're looking to have a long lasting relationship, make sure you savor those times, experiences with your partner and don't take them for granted and make sure they feel appreciated. That's it, guys. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you guys next Sunday for Cupid's Corner at 11 a.m. If you guys didn't get to catch it live, make sure you DVR it. If you miss it there, don't worry. Just go on YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and go watch all the awesome episodes of Cupid's Corner and more awesome Type Medical Center content. Well, we'll see you next Sunday. See you then, guys. Bye. <laughs>